Coach Victoria here. I am live with my level threes that are training level four. We've had a lot of questions recently about how often do we work handstands, um, how do we work handstands, and why are they so good at handstands? Because we use them in every event. Good, because why? They use them in every event. We use them in every event, so we do handstand shaping a lot of times in every event, but especially on vaults. Especially on vaults is when we focus on things like prehab and handstands. Why? Because you go into a handstand because mm -hmm. um, you go into a handstand when you vault. That's exactly and correct. You do, um, our lines. Yeah, here, let me come stand over here. So let's go over the plan today. We are officially in, in the season now, which means we are now in the competitive season. So our lesson plans are structured slightly differently. Um, but this will be our first day for you girls in in season. So I want to talk to them a little bit about what we're going to be doing on vault today. So. We're on a cycle for vault practices, like a pattern. Do you learn patterns in school? Yeah. You know, yeah, it's I like triangle, banana, triangle, square, banana. triangle, triangle, square, right? Like banana, 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 meatball. Yes. Banana, banana, meatball. Banana, banana, meatball. Exactly like that. But um, so one of the things that we do is with our cycle, we cycle in prehab and handstand shaping into um, our vault. We do a lot of prehab during vault, but there's one day that's gonna be specifically for it, prehab and handstand shaping. And it, they're on like a five day cycle. So every five days on vault, um, they're working handstand shaping the entire vault rotation. Um, our vault rotation times differ. Today we have a 20 minute vault rotation. Generally we do have a 30 minute vault rotation on most other days. So the warm up is going to be the same through in season on vault. So you girls are going to be doing your running and your board punching still. But then um, we are just going to work on a little bit of handstand shaping and prehab stuff. Okay, we're going to do some stations and we're going to rotate through them. But I would like for you girls to turn your brains on because handstands are something that you need to have your brains on for. You need to do smart artistic gymnastics in order to have good handstands. Also, Claire, I saw that you uh, beat your handstand goal. How long did you hold a handstand for? 42 seconds. 42 seconds. And how old are you? Seven. Seven years old. That's pretty incredible. High five. All right, ladies, let's um, get lined up at the end of the air floor and start our, yes, you can put that away. Start our um, running drills. Perfect. All right, so they're just going to do their running drills for warm up. They've got high knees, kick your butt. Um, Micah's in the background. She's going to work on some different things. She's in a boot. She's got some sievers that she's dealing with right now, which is when their bones are just growing too fast and pulling on, pulling on all the tendons and ligaments and muscles and everything. Um, so she is just going to let that tissue heal for a little bit. And she's actually working on a little plan. Can I tell them about your plan? Um, she's got, so she's got a little plan that she uses. Um, and she's doing her full stretch with us and she's going to do a slider workout, which is what you see her doing over there. Um, she does handstand shaping as she does modified handstand holds. She does, uh, do, 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 leg lifts, crunches, V ups, arch ups, side ups, and she does push ups, pull ups, rows and modified handstand push ups. So she gets a lot of her workout in, but we don't require her to be here for the full practice. Uh, so Amber, we're just going to move this purple mat. We're going to pull the resi that way, and then we're going to use this for the knee handstand shaping. And we're going to do um, we're actually going to do only do four stations. So it'll be angled handstand, uh, this handstand, handstand shaping on the triangles, and then prehab, and we'll rotate. So we're just pulling this purple one away. But if it's helpful for you guys to watch us coach live, then go ahead and give us a like because that's going to help this video and subscribe to our channel because we do a whole bunch of this. And you guys can see our full vault rotation during practice one of in season for our level threes today. This is Micah's hoodie. I don't want her to lose it. Where'd she go? Oh, she's over there. I'll let her know. Good job, girls. Run fast. Run fast. Nice. Come on, Taylor. Good. So these girls, woo, fast. 
These girls will compete their first meet in January. It is the end of November right now, so this is when we start in season. So in season just means uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of reps of routines, a lot of reps of their current skills, cleaning up current skills, but also just the way that our practices work, the way that our gym works is we work upgrades all season long. So we'll really get started on doing reps of skills of the next level up so that um, hopefully we really won't struggle with the gap. Nice, Cora from three to four. Go Taylor, go Taylor, go! Yeah, girl, nice job, nice job. All right, guys, are we done? Whoa, 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 crashing into each other. All right, girls, let's do our board warm up and then I'll explain to you um, our stations and we'll get started. Um, yeah, we'll put those right back here. And they'll do their prehab. They'll do their prehab alone today. I'll do the um, I'll do angled handstand to throw with them. If you'll do this one, do you know that one, Amber? Okay. Good job. Step arm circle. Ah. Funky. We do teach the arm circle to all of our lower level gymnasts. I do not require that they compete with it once they reach level four and five. Need it. Um, but we do teach it because it's good for coordination and timing. It's good for calibrating their mind and their body. Whoa, Poppy. She's popping all over the place. Go ahead, Hudson. Great. But I'm excited to show you guys what we do with handstand shaping. Good. And Amber, if you could just keep an eye on that station as well as this station. Because I don't want them to be doing that one wrong. Good. But we'll take, since this is our first day of in-season practice, we probably won't be at the stations for very long because I'm going to take a minute to explain them and explain what I'm looking for since we're introducing these stations. Yes, you can. Uh, since we're introducing these stations and then we um, at our other practices as we move further into the end season we will um, spend less time explaining and more time doing let me get uh, a demonstrator for this station that's super tiny can i mila yeah let's move this off of here so this first station is a coach assisted station this is going to be angled handstand to throw um, so she's actually just kind of going to like kick up to a handstand up here and we're going to do an angled handstand. So I'm going to make sure that her armpits are open, eyes are on her hands, ribs are in, legs are tight, toes are pointed, heels together, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing the core. If I were just to hold her thighs right now, she's still tight there. So I'm not really doing much there. Squeeze your bottom and then we're going to go one, try to keep the line steady, two, and then throw. Tight. What are you giggling about? Is that fun? And then every time they land, I want to see them be super, super duper tight. All right, awesome. So that's the first station over here with me. But what we're trying to not do is somebody really good at closing their armpits. Hudson, you're so good at closing your armpits. She likes to put her chin on her chest. Go ahead and do that one. Pick up. Put your chin on your chest. Yeah, see how she's doing that? So this would not be an angled handstand because look at the angle of her armpits too three and then that creates the forward roll action that we don't want involved but she's actually been getting really good at fixing that so very proud of her all right so that's our station one over here we've got a station two with coach amber all right who's got a great handstand claire's got a great handstand come on over claire we're going to do the sweep back to front you could go to coach amber actually the sweep back to front and then hands on but you're going to go on your knees close to the wedge mat Mm-hmm. Closer, closer, closer. Oh, nope, too close. Back it up. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, now squeeze your bottom. I actually saw this on, I think it was LA Gold Gymnastics. Arms back, and you're gonna sweep to your ears and then do an angled handstand line on the mat. So put your hands on the mat. Ready, sweep back to front. Okay, so is that a handstand line? Yeah, where do your eyes go? Girls, are you? if you can't see her, you can stand up. Let's push your knees back a little further. Yeah, hips flat, ribs in, shoulders, yep, 
Ears covered, eyes on hands. Good, try that again now, now that you know what you're doing. So shoulders there, so no jumpy, just lean into it. That's better, good. A little bit too round, so we really wanna open that up. Open up the armpits, eyes on hands. That's the line we're looking for. Excellent job. Okay, great. Let me get another damn shirt. Let me have Cora, I haven't used you yet. Hey, Micah, that's really cool, but let's use something other than that for a modified handstand. Coach Amber, would you help her find something that would be safer than that? Okay. So, yes, I love these on our tumble track slanted ninja steps. We're going on like our bicep, tricep area, on our thigh area, and we're going to try to make a nice straight line. So, girls, what do we do? Ribs in, butt squeezing. Good. Pushing maximum extension, so no space between her ears and her shoulders. I literally can't get in there, so she's doing really good. And point your feet. Heels together, toes together, quads tight, butt squeezing, bottom rib in, pushing through the shoulders, eyes on hands. That's really good. Now rotisserie chicken or rotisserie turkey. You're trying to not get burnt. So it's yes, you're it's trying to not, not get burnt. If you drop down, then yeah, down. just don't drop down. You'll get burnt. I'm going to pull you a little bit more this time. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, now same line. Toes together, heels together, quad squeezing, butt tight, ribs down. <laughs> and this is really hard for them because they have to use all the back muscles to open up the shoulder angle and try to get like a little bit more chin up there. There we go. Really squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Try to find that line. Super hard for them, but they're really working all the, oh, burnt. All the muscles that are necessary for them to, yeah, eyes on hands. There you go. Okay, okay, good try, good try. All the muscles that are necessary for them to hold a handstand. Um, their last station is going to be their prehab station and we cater it towards what the girls need. Um, so if they have knee pain, ankle pain, things like that, because level three is like a big time for all those growing pains, Oscar Slaughter, Seavers, um, because they're all around that age, right? And they're all doing a pretty heavy workload because they're training level four. So we make sure that we're working the prehab, the stretching and stuff for that. Um, if they don't have any of that going on, uh, they might have a tight upper back, like Claire and Mila and Poppy all have kind of tight upper backs. So they work on that. If they have tight hips, we work on that during this point. But we cater it towards them. We've got a little chart that tells them uh, what they're supposed to be doing, but they pretty much know what they're supposed to be doing for prehab. All right, so girls, are we ready to get started with our stations? All right, let's stand up. I'm gonna give you a partner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, is anybody willing to work alone today? All right, Taylor. Taylor, I saw your hand go up. I'm gonna have you work alone. I want you to start at prehab since you said that your ankle, I mean your ankle, your heel is bothering you a little bit. What? Yeah, you can do knee and ankle prehab. You're gonna start at that station. Don't get started just yet. Let me have um, Hudson and is there somebody else that does the same kind of prehab as you? Cora? Oh, you do that? Yeah, okay, well I'll put you guys together. You guys can be together, because other Taylor's gonna work alone. You girls will start with Coach Amber. Um, let's have Claire and, Claire and uh, Mila, yeah. Claire and Mila, you girls will start at your uh, rotisserie chicken station. You girls get to start angled handstands with me. Okay, all right, I'm gonna bring this over here so that you guys can watch my station. All right, so we're just working handstand lines. We want them to know the checklist. Um, so toes together, heels together, quads tight, butt squeezing, hips flat. All right, just kick up, hands go here. Okay, so toes together, heels together. Oh my gosh, right away. See what happens there? So let's open that up. Open the armpits up, eyes on hands. There we go, one, squeeze, 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 squeeze. squeeze. Squeeze your back muscles together. Two, and then throw, tight. Okay, so, wait, 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 lay flat. Two things that we were missing was arms back and hips flat. So pull the ribs down, keep the hips flat, and then as soon as you did that, see how the hands came off the mat? Keep them down, squeezing behind here. So she's got that tight upper back. Squeezing tight, 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 tight. Good, okay. All right, McKinley. 
If you guys didn't see McKinley's video where she did strap bar giants, then you should go check that out. Eyes on hands. One, two. Okay, we're rounding the armpits. I want you to keep that angle open. Three. Okay, freeze. There's what I'm talking about. See that angle that went right through the armpits there? So there we go. Keep them down. We want to keep these open and in a straight line, reaching, reaching, reaching. Good try. All right, Pop, ready? Kick up to it. One. Two, eyes on hands. Open armpit angle. Three. Squeeze. Okay, fill out that bottom section of your, right here, of your core. Say, huh. Good job. Okay. All right, ready? Eyes and hands. Oh, there it was. Did you feel it? Don't let those armpits close. One. Eyes on hands. Two. Flat, 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 flat. Good try. All right, girls, let's switch stations. If you're at the rotisserie chicken station, go to prehab. If you're at prehab, come to me. If you're with me, go to Coach Amber. If you're with Coach Amber, go to rotisserie chicken. Okay? All right, let me aim the camera. A little bit over here so that you can see Coach Amber working. Amber, would you care to go to the other side? I know it's harder to see that station, but I'll give you that. <laughs> this side. What? Oh, thanks. Ready? Put, look at your hands. It's like flat hips. Good. And come out. Let's have, let's let Poppy go. Ready? Ready? Good, Taylor. Reach tall. Hello. Start arms back. Whoa! Too quick. Squeeze, squeeze, and sweep in. Oh, look at that round shape. Open. And look at your hands. Flat hips. You looking at your hands? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh, is that hard? Oh, uh, you did one. Do one more really quick. Then it's McKinley's turn again. Ready? Oh, yeah. Yep. Flat, squeeze, and sweep. Better. Still a little round. There you go. Squeeze tight, tight, tight. Ready, McKinley? Start ribs in. Oh! Little round. Look at your hands. Woo. Ow. What was that? <laughs> My bone. Your what? My bone. Your bone? <laughs> what bone? You can come out. Who knows what bone? That's better. Scoot. Next, do, take a little scooch. Okay, now now go. Start. Tight, tight, tight. Now go. There you go. Look at your hands. Better. Good. <laughs> All right. Ladies. Ready? That was quick. Good job, girl. Whoa, you're so far away. Scooch up to about there. Just you. Tight. Flat hips, flat hips. Look at your hands. Good. All right, I'll take that microphone back. Thank you. Shout out to Coach Amber. Okay, back over here. I'll show you guys this station again. And you can see them working at a rotisserie chicken station in the background. See how they grabbed a balance beam and we're using that to um, try to find that line. Yeah, it's so just a good visual we aid. Just, we just brought you just brought that over there. because you girls are so smart, right? Smartistic gymnastics. There you go, hop it up there. Okay, whoa, elbows, eyes on hands. Get that nice line going. There we go, good. One, squeezing tight, 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 tension. Two, three, tight, good job. What does tension mean again? Is tension like a rubber band and jello? No, it's like tight. It's like tight, it's like a pencil and concrete, right? Yeah, okay, let's see. Can you be tense? You could just kick up. Okay. 
as our hands. Okay, so we see we got that round shape naturally. Yeah. We want to pull that open. There we go. That's a little better. One, two, hold your line. Three, squeeze. She screeched. Good. McKinley, you look like a worm. All right, ready? Yes, nice, nice, Mila. The, the lovely headstand forward roll. Just kick up. Okay, ready? Find our line. I'm looking in the mirror because that sometimes helps me. Like if you're too close to your gymnasts, it's hard to find if they're in their line. One, ribs in. There you go. Two, here we go. Wee! Tight. It's so fun, isn't it? I love fun stations. Fun stations make dedicated two good rep gymnasts. Eyes on hands. Here we go. One, yeah, the more fun something is, the more like the other to do it right. Two, here we go. Whee! Whoa, sorry, I think I twisted you. All right, ladies, last station. Last station, and then we get to drink and uh, go to bars, I think. No, snack is after floor on, um, what day is that? Is it snack? I don't know, I'll check the plan. Are we doing a rapid cancer party today? I don't think so. All right, kick okay, handstand. Okay, let's get those armpits open. Eyes on hands. One. Okay, okay, good try. Two, there we go, eyes on hands. Three. Squeeze. Hands down. So you naturally are just wanting to close those armpits. Hi. Oh gosh, hi. <laughs> Cora is scaring me. She is a scary kid. What? We're gonna do two each. I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit so that they can see how hard these girls are working in the background over here at our other stations. Taylor, camera's on you, girl. You better be showing off. All right, ready? Here we go, kick it up. Eyes on hands. One, two, three. Squeeze, good job. Kick up. Careful. One, eyes on hands. Two, three. Good job. Last I one. Did. Nicely, Elaine. If I didn't jump, she would crush me. So. Yes, exactly. That's better than getting crushed. Better than getting crushed. You're right. All right, here we go. One. Ribs in, Taylor. Two, three. Good. I think bars. All right, ladies. Come on over and say bye. If you guys found it helpful to watch our vault practice live, then please give this video a like because it's just gonna help it go to the top. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell so you know whenever we are live. Wait, 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 Poppy and McKinley are Oh, they're coming. Say bye. Bye, bye. If you think this, if you think this video is helpful, give us a big thumbs up. Perfect. Bye, guys. Bye.